Hey there, are you considering a move to Australia? Well, don't start packing just yet because you first have to apply for the Australian student visa. We'll tell you everything there is to know about this visa in a matter of few minutes. So without any further ado, let's begin. An Australian student visa is a document that will allow you to visit the country as a student for a specific amount of time. It's important to know that Australia does not affix visa stamps or labels to students' passports unlike most nations. With your Australian student visa, you can apply for an eligible course of study and can also bring your family member. This includes your partner or your partner's dependent child. Shall we take a look at the types of student visas that you can apply for? The Australian student visa is known as the subclass 500. This visa is further divided into 8 subclasses. Make sure you choose the right Australian student visa subclass according to your needs. The first is the independent LA course visa, subclass 570. This visa is for international students who wish to pursue an English language intensive course. The next is the school sector visa. This visa is required for children who study in a primary or a secondary school. The third category is the Vocational Education and Training Sector Visa, subclass 572. This is required if you are an international student moving to Australia for a vocational or training qualification. The next category is the Higher Education Sector Visa, subclass 573. You should select this category if you are travelling to Australia for a higher education such as a graduate degree, bachelor's degree or a master's degree. Hold on, we know it's a lot. But look at it this way, Australia basically provides a visa to fulfill mostly all of your needs. The fifth category is the Postgraduate Research Sector Visa, subclass 574. This visa is for students who wish to pursue a research-based master's or doctoral degree. The next category is the Non-Award Sector Visa, subclass 575. This visa is given to students who wish to pursue a non-award foundation or other full-time courses. Foreign Affairs or Defence Sector Visa, subclass 576, is another category. This visa is applicable to foreign students who are supported to study in Australia for any type of degree by the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade of Australia or the Department of Defence of Australia. And the last category is the Study Guardian Visa, subclass 580. This is for parents and legal representatives of international students under the age of 18. Now let's see who can apply for the Australian student visa. So, you will be eligible for the visa only if you wish to pursue a course on a full-time basis. The validity of this visa is 5 years. Ever heard of CRICOS? It is the Commonwealth Register of Institution and courses for overseas students. One important thing to remember while applying is that your course should be registered with them. Why wait till it's late? Ideally, you should submit your application as early as 12 weeks before your course starts. While visa applications can cost a lot, the Australian student visa application fees won't burn a hole in your pocket. The standard fees for subclass 500 is around $620. This will vary according to the subclass and the processing fees that will come with it. The processing time for the Australian student visa is not long which means you will get your visa within 28 to 48 days and you won't have to stick your eyes to the mailbox for long. Getting a student visa will mean quite a bit of paperwork. Naturally, for the Australian student visa, you will need a host of documents. So get your pen and paper ready and start noting these down. A filled out application for the Australian student visa, that is Form 157A. You can find the form on the official website of the Australian Visa Department or can download the PDF form from the link mentioned below. A photocopy of the passport bio page, an enrollment certificate or offer letter, proof of sufficient funds, evidence of health insurance coverage, results of an English proficiency exam, criminal record check, four passport size photographs, national identification card, GTE statement, and academic records. To be granted the Australian student visa, you must prove that you have the monetary resources to fund your stay in the country. You must have enough funds for your travel, 12 months of your course fees 
and 12 months of your living costs. To apply for the Australian student visa, all you have to do is follow these three steps. The first is to start the visa application process 8 to 12 weeks prior. The second is to gather all of your documents and make the digital copies. You can use the document checklist tool to help you keep track of the documents needed. The third and the final step is to apply for the visa online. These are some conditions to your Australian visa that you must duly follow. Do not exceed your working restriction hours, which is 40 hours a fortnight. Meet your course requirements. Do not be involved in disruptive or violent activities. Maintain adequate health insurance. Continue to satisfy the criteria for the grant of the visa. Maintain adequate arrangements for your education while you are in Australia. Well, all the application process is done, but don't sit idly. You must respond to any request of information promptly. Make sure you frequently log on to your EMI accounts for any updates. The visa decisions would be announced to you in writing. This will include the visa grant number, date of expiry, and a few other visa conditions. We are humans and prone to mistakes. Hence, let's look at some of the common mistakes that you can avoid while submitting your application. Make sure you meet the English language requirements and provide proof for the same. Keep all of your documents lined up for the submission and the interview and avoid giving unnecessary documents. Absolutely avoid submitting incomplete forms or documents. Time and visa officers wait for none. Make sure you arrive on time for your visa interview. Do not hire a non-registered agent and make sure to respond within the provided time period. Visa interviews can be scary, but we got to ace them. Even if you are confident about the communication skills, you will still need to prepare for the visa interview. You can practice some of the common questions so that you are not taken aback and answer the questions precisely. You must look and feel confident during your interview. On time is late. Arrive early and make a good first impression. And lastly, stay positive. Here are a few things that I would do if I were you. Keep an eye on the Australian immigration rules for any updates. Double check all of my information as I fill out the application form. And lastly, get a head start on booking my student accommodation near my university with Amber. Amber provides a range of great properties to choose from. These were my tips. Share yours in the comments below to help each other out. Once you get the visa, there's no one stopping you from chasing your dreams. And the Aussies will welcome you with open arms. We hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel for more such student tips.